And so it was, it was purely small animal you're doing, companion animal. Yeah, all, yeah, yeah, most of it. We had occasional stuff that came in that was a little bit unusual. I mean, my six, you know, week six uh, on the job, uh, the, the driver comes in with the cell phone because, of course, you know, the shake, the prince, the big boss doesn't come in. He sends in the driver with the cell phone and then, you know, cool. Hi, you know, this is Dr. Mark. Can I help you? And so basically he says, well, yeah, uh, we have this crocodile. <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah, and so well, okay, um, uh, what's, what's wrong with the, the crocodile? It's, well, he's two meters long and really mean. I can't fix that. What's his medical problem? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what was his medical problem? Um, he had a uh, a prolapsed penis, if I'm allowed to say that on Spotify and YouTube and all that. I, we don't we said worse. We said oh, worse. Very, yeah. good. very good. Yeah. So uh, basically, um, due to uh, due to constipation, it had the organ had prolapsed. It yeah. became injured, and a partial amputation was required. I was going to say that's uh, that's yeah. not too difficult actually. Amputation of it. Well, I've not done a crocodilian. I've done a few other reptile penal activities. Bob bobbits, I think they call them. Yes, aren't they? six weeks into my first job after university, sole charge of at Western Saudi Arabia, twelve hundred kilometers from the nearest referral hospital. Yeah. That's uh, my old exotics professor, and, went, Whoa! and, you, sure. and you did a John Wayne Bobbit on a two meter crocodile, pretty much under local. Oh. Was it was it any less wild afterwards? No, he's uh, he's hated me ever since. Hmm. And to be fair, I can't really blame him. No, no but really. because we, you know, because the uh, the, 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 vet, the the exotics vet told me that the ketamine was, you know, general anesthesia was really going to be a problem because we were in the, you know rather far away from, you know, modern monitoring equipment and yeah. ventilators and things like that, because we were next to a swimming pool about 20 kilometers north of Jeddah. So yeah, we uh, we grabbed him, we tied him up, we gave him a truckload of local, covered his eyes, turned him upside down, and went snippety snip. Wow. Right. Wow. Easy. Gosh. I'm not surprised he didn't like you afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, to be fair, he would he would have cheerfully returned the favor if he could. So, you know, fair is fair, you know. I, I, <laughs> and he wouldn't have used local, would he? How many reunions have you attended with him? A couple, actually. Um, a few January 2020, <laughs> just before the pandemic, I actually got invited back. Right. Um, not for him, but uh, for for a, another uh, a, another a uh, patient. But they uh -huh. remembered me years later and said, "Hey, I want to come in and." Yeah. So, so did you meet the crocodile again? Oh, I did. And he remembered you. He remembers. So anyone that tells you reptiles are stupid and slow and forget, oh, no. Oh, wow. They, they just kind of float in the pool and they watch you walking by. And so, yep, he remembered me. Wow. And it was a bit bigger then as well, wasn't it? Because they, they carry on growing throughout life, I think, don't they? Crocodiles. Like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't wander over with a tape measure, I will be honest. D did you not? Did not? Okay. Did, no, I, I pushed my luck enough the first time. Oh, you, you, you didn't throw a fish or anything? <laughs> what, what did you say, Julian? I said, I can't compete with that. A, a crocodile penis amputation, that's pretty, that's pretty out there, isn't it? It's pretty radical surgery, isn't it? It's very good for free beers with the U.S. Embassy Marines. Why? Because they like how they want their penises amputating? Uh, apparently, if you tell a story they can't top, you get a beer. Ah, okay. So that would do it. That would do it. Hey, that, you know, I didn't make the rules, but I accept it. 